Is it over? I mean, like, we're running out of time. <laughs> Did you hear that? You heard that, right? The ticking? I'm not crazy, I swear. Wait, guys. What? what if we already have right in our folders? Listen up, Dr. Ned. See you next in five minutes. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Senior Showcase 2024. We're super excited to be here and present this program for you. Tonight, you will see a wide variety of acts. I can attest to that. 
uh, for your personal entertainment. They put in hard and long hours preparing for this event, and they hope you enjoy it a lot. First up, I gotta talk a little bit. I think it's ready. Uh, first up is a glimpse into what Adam and Eve's lives may have looked like, put into the perspective of a modern lens. Oh my gosh, wedding planning season? I just want it to be perfect. Well, that whole perfect thing is kind of out the window, thanks to you. Oh, here we go again. You always have to bring this up. Well, you know, life was perfect. Not a sin in the world. When do you want to get married? Uh, I don't know. Definitely not the fall, since we kind of already did that. Are you enjoying this? I am. I like ribbon yet. Are you enjoying it? I'm missing one. I thought we agreed not to talk about the whole rib thing. That wasn't up to me. You think I like being made out of your rib? Whatever. <laughs> Back to planning. Let's talk dinner. What are we thinking? Maybe a salad or a protein? Ooh, what did you name some of these in the field again? Actually, some of those are delicious. Like the oinking one, pig. Or, uh, what's it called? The one that goes, moo, cow. That one is delicious. Sure kept it simple with those names, huh? Well, what about first name song? What about that? It has to be Amazing Grace. <sighs> I knew you were going to say that. It's so unoriginal. It's overplayed. What about something a little more fun, lively? Maybe like some Ed Sheeran, Shape of Jew? I'm in love, did you shake the view? I don't know, I'm, I'm actually starting to get like really overwhelmed. Oh, hey, let's not get too caught up, okay? Remember, it's just about us and God. Mainly because we're literally the only people alive here on Earth. You're right, I just, I just want it to be special. Like, will the music be good? Yes, babe. I've curated the perfect playlist on Godify. You're the best. I'm just, I'm just so excited for our future together. Like, can we talk honeymoon? What are we doing for our honeymoon? Actually, I've been thinking about that a lot. We could do like a nice bungalow on the Euphrates River. Maybe a nice like jungle safari. You know, I've actually been meaning to name a lot of those animals. So it could be like one of those two Fly wing thingies, one stone kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Ooh, I like those ideas. Okay, let me write them down. Wait, what is that? What are you writing that down? <laughs> oh, it's an apple. A what? Where is the serpent? Where is he? <laughs> oh, stop it. This is not a literal apple, okay? This is not going to be the downfall of man. Oh. It's not like this is something that's super fun now and ends up being really bad for us. <laughs> okay, if you say so. This, everything is just, this is gonna take me a while. Just so much to do and I just I can't. This is gonna take so long. I know babe, this is taking a while. But God did plan the whole earth in only six days. So surely we can plan a wedding in that amount of time. Okay, well, uh, newsflash, I'm not God, and, uh, neither are you. Well, you sure wanted to be. <laughs> oh my gosh, this again! Every single time I mean you took a bite, too! <laughs> babe, babe, I'm sorry. I'm really nervous, but I'm super excited for our future together. Same, babe. <laughs> I really am. Is it, is it crazy that I'm where I came up with some baby names? Oh really? Like what? I don't know. I really like Cain or um, Abel. Uh, everyone does the whole crazy baby names. I mean, our names are simple. Adam, Eve. What if we keep it simple? Oh, 
Okay, okay baby. Whatever, whatever makes you happy. happy. We're going to have the best little family. Our little boys are going to be best friends. <laughs> this is only the genesis. I can't wait. Also, like, having kids, God did say childbirth would be, like, really painful, but how hard could it be? <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, I suppose I should go toil in the fields. Well, what a cool skit and a glimpse into what could have been. <laughs> um, as they're changing the stage around, I have a joke for you on the theme of creation. I ordered a chicken and an egg off of Amazon. I'll let you know. <laughs> our next, our next uh, skit for you, or I guess it's a reading rather, is by Nathaniel Deedy. I've come to uh, know and love this young man. He is a fantastic bell player. I'm pretty sure he's got the brain to just build one in like a garage if you wanted to. So um, he's reading some poetry. I didn't know he was into poetry, but I'm really excited to hear what he's got to say. So Nathaniel Deedy. Ladies and gentlemen, hobos and tramps, cross-eyed mosquitoes and bow-legged ants, I stand before you to sit behind you to tell you something I know nothing about. Next Thursday, which is Good Friday, there's a Mother's Day meeting for fathers only. Wear your best clothes if you haven't any. Please come if you can't. If you can, stay at home. Admission is free, so pay at the door. And pull up a chair and sit on the floor. It makes no difference where you sit. The man in the gallery is sure to spit. The show is over, but before you go, let me tell you a story I don't really know. One bright day in the middle of the night, two dead boys got up to fight. The blind man went to see fair play. The mute man went to shout hooray. Back to back they faced each other, drew their swords, and shot each other. A deaf policeman heard the noise and came and killed the two dead boys. A paralyzed donkey passing by kicked the blind man in the eye, knocked him through a nine-inch wall into a dry ditch and drowned them all. If you don't believe that this lie is true, ask the blind man he saw it too. Through a knot hole in a wooden brick wall, and the man with no legs walked away. There's never a bad time to squeeze in a weightlifting session, including right now. You saw a short preview in the, the Senior Showcase video. There will be two or three, or potentially more, special guests giving you a demonstration on how to lift weights correctly. So, in this skit, I'm sure we'll all learn a new skill to improve on at the gym by Jesse, Kylan, and Shayna, Lifting and Grunting. Sorry guys, you just caught me in the middle of working out. Now, plenty of videos out there show you how to work out, but not enough show you what kind of noises you need to make while you're working out. You won't believe the progress you'll make when you stop working harder and start working louder. Now, I'm gonna bring an apprentice, someone who, let's be honest, has skipped his last couple of workouts. I mean, we've all done it, but this guy has really let himself go. Everyone please welcome Terry Crews. Yeah, put your hands together for me. <laughs> now, Terry, I think everyone here can see what the problem is. You have these chubby, pudgy biceps and these nine chins under here. Oh, come on. Now, why don't you show us how you work out? How about with these dumbbells over here? All right, it's your show. One, two. Now, now, set that down. 
this is a problem. You've never been coached by a professional. Why don't you uh, watch how the professionals do it? Ready for this? Hey, that's pretty good, but I think I can do it better. See this? It's about 315 pounds. Mm. Uh, 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 sit, sit down, sit. What, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you think you're doing, fat boy, huh? huh? You come out here and you embarrass me in front of all my friends? Huh? <laughs> Stop lying, you don't have friends. Nah. You know what you've done? What did I do, James? You poked the beast. You don't want to poke this beast. Now, you see, your problem is you didn't use your back, your glutes, and your triceps. Where are those again? I, ju I just said, your back, your glutes, and your triceps. Whatever, man. You know what? I may have poked the beast, but you opened up a can of worms. <laughs> Well, clearly learned a lot from me, and in just one session, you clearly improved. Yeah, man. I guess I need a few lessons from Kylan if I'm going to lift a thousand pounds in two and a half minutes. Anyway, hope you learned something from that skit. <laughs> uh, some of us, or some of the senior class, has some hidden talents. I can attest to this, there are many, and they are hidden. This specific one, I had no idea this guy could do this. Everett Stone, here to show us his secret talent in the form of a grand performance. Enjoy. Don't worry, all the staff have just trained in CPR. We're good. We're covered. In case you were wondering. We were, we were telling him beforehand, you need to do a backflip off the stage or something, but alas, he did not. How many of you have seen the movie My Fair Lady? I should put my hand down. I have not seen that. But anyway, here to transport us back to the colorful world of this classic film that I have not seen 
is Marissa Kirby with I Could Have Danced All Night. Before our intermission, we have a very short and sweet song showcasing this senior class's uh, amazing musical talent. Uh, don't want to know, Lauren, Jeremy, and Izzy. We hope you enjoy.
I found that song and listened to it, and I thought I just found the wrong version. Now I get it. <laughs> you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's going to be a short 15-minute intermission. Uh, please feel free to take a look at the bake sale in the back, and we'll see you back here in 15 minutes.
All righty. Uh, if you come back to your seats in the next three, four, five minutes, that would be great. We'll get started with the second half. Thank you very much. All righty, we're going to get started here. How many of you can tell me what season we're in? No. Fall. The best season. I'm just kidding. Probably winter. Anyway, fight me. Um, people are donning their comfiest sweaters. There's a chill in the air. There is leaves on the ground. It's fantastic. So Thanksgiving is right around the corner. In light of this, this next skit I present to you is about a group of friends discussing what they're thankful for. Enjoy. Um, so what do you guys want to do now? Nothing. That's the best part about Thanksgiving. Come on, guys, let's do something. What if we rent, went around in a circle and said something we're grateful for? No. That's kind of dumb. Okay, okay. Um, I would be grateful if I didn't have to say what I was grateful for. Oh my gosh, thank you for volunteering to be first. <gasps> you tricked me. What have you done? Okay, uh, does anybody want to go next? I'll go. I'm so grateful that I get to have a group of friends to spend with at the holidays. Aww. That's kind of really nice. cool. Okay. okay, um, Whitney, do you want to go next? Oh, sure. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm thankful for my boyfriend, Adam. You're so cute. Aww. He's really sweet, and I'm just the luckiest girl to have him. Aw, thank you. Well, I guess... I would have to be thankful for the most recent Mission Impossible movie. Okay, I saw that one. Uh, I saw yeah, that one. Tom that really Cruise, good. the action. I what can I say? Yeah. Um, well, I guess I. Wait a sec, Mallory. Wait a sec. I don't think Adam was done. 
<laughs> right. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm also thankful for Natalie's famous pumpkin pie. Look at that. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. So good. Oh, man. Thank you, guys. That's so sweet. Um, so I guess I am. He's not done, Mallory. <laughs> Whoa, cool it. <laughs> Adam, is there anything else you would like to express gratitude for? Yeah. Uh, I am also grateful for the big game today. Um, you hate football. I know, I just couldn't think of anything else to be thankful for. Really? <laughs> you couldn't think of anything else? Uh, puppies. And? Sunshine. And? The, uh, dry erase markers. Adam, I think that Whitney was- No! no! Okay, how about I go again? Uh, I don't think that's Adam. allowed. Okay, go against what I say. I'm I thankful for my sweet, thoughtful, amazing boyfriend, Adam. Thank you. Now, what are you grateful for? It's, it's kind of hard to talk what about. What are you grateful for, Adam? I'm grateful I'm not Adam. <laughs> You don't speak too quickly, Steven. Adam, my sweetest, my dearest, my love. I've already said six things. Oh, then say a seventh, you lovely man. Say it. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay. It's just it. a brain fart. I am so, so thankful for Whitney's mom who made me this sweater. Oh, that's nice, that's okay. nice, let me feel it. That's really nice. I don't think that's yeah. what she wanted you to say, at, and she's leaving. Um, yeah, where are you? We're over, Adam! Okay, so she's like actually leaving. Do you wanna go after her? <sighs> are you kidding me? I've been trying to get her to break up with me all year. <laughs> So I guess, really, this is what I'm thankful for. So Adam, you're saying you're single now. Huh? <laughs> Big oof. Let's hope that's not a real life version of things. So, if you don't know, this is a balloon filled with helium. This person has no idea I'm going to invite them up. Mr. Soule, would you join me on stage? <laughs> and while we wait, we will sit in silence. Worth it. Do you know the drill? I have another just in case. What am I doing? You're going to breathe out, suck in some helium, and say what's on your mind. And we hope that's okay. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not. You're fired. So, breathe all the way out. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're fired. I have another. Oh, no, no, no. All right. This next act, you will be shown what may be a surprising display of vocal prowess and agility. Prepared to be amazed by something unlike you've any... Wait, let me try again. Prepared to be amazed for something unlike you've ever seen before. Sure. 
Introducing the senior boys. We may have to start an all-boys choir. <laughs> all righty. We have another musician. This one I've gotten to know pretty well. She sings for me. She plays violin very, very well. And she's actually, um, she's tried out and sent in an audition to Walla Walla for their orchestra, orchestra and choir festival this year, and she's got in. So she's playing violin at Walla Walla. <laughs> I didn't know actually how good she was because she's kind of, um, she doesn't showcase it very often, <laughs> pardon the pun, but I heard her play the auditions and they're very, very hard and she did excellently. So this next piece you'll enjoy, uh, I don't know how to say it, La Folia, I would assume that's incorrect, but that's what it's spelled like. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Please welcome Ellie Borg.
Wow, that was incredible. What a cool piece of music. At the end there, just music nerd moment, those things she's playing where she's got two strings going, those are called double stops, and they're incredibly hard to play, and they're also incredibly hard to play in tune. And I don't think I heard one out of tune. She's pretty incredible. Anyway, before we head to our next poetry reading by Nathaniel Deedy, I have a philosophical quote for you. Before you criticize someone, you should walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you criticize them, they're a mile away and you have their shoes. Was brillig, and the slightly toves did gyre and jimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borer groves, and the mumraths outgrabe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the manxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tumtum tree, and stood a while in thought. And, as in uffish thought he stood, the Jabberwock, with eyes of flame, came whiffling through the Tolgi wood, and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through, the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head, he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, frabjous day, kalu kale, he tortled in his joy. Twas brilling, and they slightly chose, did gyre and jimble in the wave. On Mimsy were the borough groves, and the mumraths outgrabe. Have you ever wondered? what the dinosaurs are thinking in their last days. These creatures are somewhat of a mystery to us, a mystery that one person in particular has taken upon himself to solve. Here to enlighten us on his discoveries is our resident dino expert, other, otherwise known as the Velocipaster, Morgan Wood.
I meant to be a living reminder of the grandeur that once was? Or am, I wit or am I a witness to the Earth's ability to adapt and change? Nope, I'm just really lucky I fit through those doors on the Ark. <laughs> In this world filled with scientific explanations and, and theories, I hold on to my faith as a creationist. There is nothing theoretical about it. I see the beauty of life in every sunrise, and the rustle of leaves, and the clatter of dino nuggets, and even in the stars that fill the night sky. It's, the, it's through these moments that I find solace in the midst of solitude. I remember my friends like the Stegosaurus, who had those massive plates on his back. But what about the mighty Diplodocus with his long tail and neck? And we can't forget the armor of the Ankylosaurus. I didn't know there was a lo-fi Jurassic Park music. That was kind of fun. Ah, uh, the last dinosaur. Okay, give me a minute. I need to envision. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie. The part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Apologies. So I 
phone in the pizza for delivery. But I knew that something just wasn't right because I waited for hours and no pizza. But it was the saddest sight I ever saw. I could still smell the sweet aroma of that deep dish goodness, but the box was empty. Uh, your house number was broken, so I couldn't find you. I was getting kind of hungry, so I ate your pizza. <laughs> Sorry about that. You don't gotta tip me or anything. <laughs> I forget you, Pizza Angel. Put your hands together for the class of 2024! Thank you for coming out tonight and supporting these wonderful seniors. Um, the baked goods department wanted me to let you know that everything is now $2. So clean it out on your way out. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening.